As brain-on-chip technology evolves rapidly, let's look back at its origins and where it could be headed. We often think of medicine and physics as belonging to quite separate fields. The conventional way in which these have been put into two sharply differentiated patterns is not, in fact, altogether correct. In 1948, Norbert Wiener publishes the seminal book, Cybernetics, or Control and Communication in the Animal and the Machine. It formally establishes cybernetics, which is the study of how systems like machines and living beings communicate with each other. Cybernetics focuses on how systems use feedback to maintain stability and function. Wiener's ideas help people across disciplines understand complex systems, including how to create systems that can control and communicate with the human brain. Here is an actual human brain. This complex organ, weighing about three pounds, coordinates your thinking, seeing, feeling, and thousands of other activities. In the 1990s, microfluidics, which involves manipulating small fluid volumes through microchannels, emerges. The technology enables the development of organ-on-chip devices, allowing for precise control over cellular environments. Researchers also learn to grow functional tissues in vitro. Tissue engineering is essential to creating living cell cultures that will eventually be used in organ-on-chip devices. Meanwhile, lab-on-chip technology allows multiple laboratory functions to be formed on a single chip. The innovation opens up possibilities for miniaturized and integrated systems. In 2003, the Human Genome Project reaches completion. The research initiative successfully maps all the genes in human DNA, providing extensive knowledge about human genetics and molecular biology. The field of systems biology emerges in the early 2000s. The interdisciplinary approach uses computational models and large-scale data analysis to understand complex interactions within biological systems. It brings researchers closer to understanding and replicating dynamic properties of living tissues in controlled settings. There is a technology revolution. A revolution inspired by nature. And built upon collaboration. And self-assembly. And disruptive innovation. In 2008, Harvard University establishes the WIST Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering, the Institute's mission to develop tech that emulates nature's principles to create next-generation devices and materials. Its work significantly accelerates the development of microfluidic devices that mimic the functions of human organs. In 2013, researchers at Harvard, led by the WIST Institute, developed the first brain-on-chip prototype. The groundbreaking device integrates neural cells into a microfluidic platform, mimicking the brain's complex structure and surroundings. The brain on chip includes vital features like connections between neural cells, signals in the brain, and the brain blood barrier. It gives scientists new ways to study how brain cells work and how diseases and drugs impact the brain. In 2017, Harvard researchers introduced multi-regional brain-on-chip models with connectivity between three distinct regions of the brain, the amygdala, hippocampus, and prefrontal cortex. The device simulates different parts of the brain working together, which is essential to understanding and mimicking how the brain controls thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. The brain-on-a-chip is an integrated experimental platform whereby we have neurons and brain cells that are in a recording device, uh, which incorporates microelectrodes. Significant advancements in brain-on-chip technology are made in the late 2010s. During this era, researchers integrate advanced imaging and sensing tech into brain-on-chip platforms for real-time monitoring of neuronal activities and cellular responses. As the technology's applications expand to include drug testing and personalized medicine, more sophisticated 3D brain-on-chip models are developed that better replicate the brain's microenvironment. The accuracy of the models mimicking actual brain functions and conditions reaches a new level. In the 2020s, brain-on-chip advancements accelerate. Researchers develop a brain-on-chip model incorporating the gut-brain axis. 
The bi-directional communication system between the GI tract and brain provides insight into the complex interactions between the human gut and brain functions. Advanced brain on chip modeling evolves to include the blood brain barrier along with an integrated immune response system. The model more accurately reflects the human brain's naturally protective environment. By 2022, brain organoids on a chip emerge. Grown from stem cells, the 3D structures replicate many aspects of the human brain's architecture and functionality. Coupling organoids with advanced brain-on-chip platforms advances insight into human brain development, including the formation of neural networks and brain regions. Personalized brain-on-chip models follow, replicating the unique genetic and cellular makeup on an individual level. Integrations with advanced artificial intelligence enhance brain-on-chip technology with predictive modeling of brain functions and disorders. AI algorithms analyze vast amounts of data generated by the models to identify patterns and make predictions. Dynamic simulations provide insight into how changes in one part of the brain affect the whole organ. Are human-like robots going to take over the world? Will they replace human beings? I know this sounds like the beginning of a sci-fi movie. It might even sound like a bizarre question. But here's what triggers these questions. In 2024, Chinese scientists create a robot with a brain made from human stem cells. It's a step toward human hybrid robotics. The brain-on-chip technology, developed by researchers at Tianjin University, enables the artificial brain to learn tasks like gripping objects. According to the South China Morning Post, the team uses neural stem cells to construct the brain. The researchers say integrating human stem cells into robotic minds can empower machines to perform more complex tasks like living organisms. The breakthrough gains global attention, offering a glimpse of the future. By 2027, technology that integrates neural interfaces like Neuralink with brain-on-chip devices advances significantly. The interfaces facilitate seamless communication between synthetic brains and external devices through high-bandwidth brain-computer interfaces. The advancement pushes the boundaries of synthetic biology and personalized medicine. The advanced AI algorithms unlock dynamic analysis and feedback for adaptive learning and precise control. By 2030, scientists develop brain-on-chip models that adapt in real-time to changes around them. With advanced AI and machine learning, the new models learn and adapt their behavior the same way humans do. They process data rapidly and adjust their responses based on the latest info. By the mid-2030s, advancements in brain-on-chip technology, neural interfaces, AI, biocompatible materials, and multi-organ-on-chip systems make the development of synthetic humans inevitable. Debates about the legal and moral status of synthetic beings intensify. As public concern rises, sweeping ethical and regulatory frameworks are introduced to mixed reactions. Proponents say comprehensive regulations are essential to ensuring ethical and safe development of synthetic humans. Hardliners say advancements must stop to prevent potential abuses and protect public interests. Supporters of the technology believe that scientific freedom is crucial for innovation and progress. Excessive oversight, they say, stifles innovation and delays progress that benefits humankind. Others say it's pointless to try stopping what's inevitable. Government and business leaders seek compromise, but critics say the resulting regulations lack teeth. In the U.S., exceptions are notably carved out for military application. Pentagon officials say it's in the interest of national security, as near-peer competitors are reportedly close to big breakthroughs. In 2038, it happens. Decades of advancements in brain-on-chip technology culminate in the first prototype synthetic human with fully integrated organ systems. The brain-on-chip serves as the control center, providing complex cognitive functions and integrating other synthetic organs. The synthetic human has a heartbeat and lungs produced with advanced bioengineering techniques. A liver-on-chip system replicates metabolic and detoxification processes. Integrated sensory organs simulate sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell through the human prism. 
The prototype, codenamed Stacy, requires extensive training as it is basically an infant in its early stages. Over time, the synthetic human acquires knowledge through artificial intelligence and machine learning. As Stacy's training continues into the 2040s, the public is prepared for an eventual unveiling through a PSYOP campaign. Whether the public rejects or embraces the advancement, this is a pivotal moment in human history.